Cal Stiller is a leader of human beings. I, I think it wouldn't matter whether Cal Stiller was a, a doctor or an engineer or whether he worked at the local McDonald's. He would be leading because he's that kind of a person. He's driven, he's strong. He, he dares to think out loud things that are unthinkable. Uh, he's a visionary, he's an innovator, he's a catalyst. He's a collector, a thinker, and uh, a motivator and he's trying to make the world a better place. There aren't many like him. A lot of people who are leaders wait for the parade to form and then run to the front. That's not Cal. He has changed the public policy of bo in both Ottawa as well as in Toronto in regards to science policy. He's built a lot of institutions such as Mars and the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research. He's been integral in setting up the Robarts Research Institute at Western. He established single-handedly the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame. He has built up the organ donation field in this country as no one else has. The Canadian Medical Discoveries Fund, uh, the first and, and largest venture capital fund in Canada dedicated to, to the life sciences. He's done a lot to advance medical science, innovation, and the institutions in this country. You give him 30 seconds of your time, you will walk away from that conversation being a cheerleader for whatever the issue is because he's convinced you because he speaks from the heart. Cal is passionate. Cal, Cal believes in the causes he takes up and he is able to instill in others uh, that passion, that interest. He's very patient about drawing people out, drawing out the best in them and he thinks about how he can include people and surround them and get them to be involved with his vision. And his inclusion is of a nature that builds upon the dream and the vision so that you look upon yourself as a partner with this wonderful leader. He's driven by the love of people that, was in, that he was exposed to by his mom, dad, his childhood was one where you serve others. He shares the limelight. In fact, he shuns it in some ways. And I'm sure he's cringing as he watches this video. Cal is a unique individual because he has a, a heart as big as a house. I remember sitting on a plane one day flying back from Saskatchewan to Toronto and Cal Stiller was on the plane. My two nieces, both of whom are diabetic, uh, we were looking for what the alternatives might be and what they should do and you know I marched up and kind of tapped him on the shoulder and said I'm Pamela Wallen we've met and he said oh yes of course and I said I've got these two nieces and he came and talked to these girls and uh, said that you know what that they had a, a disease that was manageable and they were going to live with it and they were going to be able to do everything they could as, uh, as, you know, just like any other kid. I thought it was so great. I mean, here's this internationally renowned doctor uh, who's being bugged on an airplane, and boy, I know that that can be annoying. Uh, and he just took the time to come back, and the girls have never forgotten that, and they're now in their 30s living happily ever after. So he was right, but he gave them that moment of confidence. It was, it's what makes him special. Cal is all heart. He is an individual with incredible sensitivity and sensitive to groups and how they function, but more importantly, sensitive to the individual. I remember one time he was preparing a fairly important speech and he asked me to uh, look it over and, and comment on one part. And I did, I made a couple of comments. And he was so grateful and enthusiastic for my contribution when I realized it was just one small part of the greater work that he had done. I think he's made the scientific and medical community think differently about illness and disease and the science around it and how we need to treat it and what we can do to prevent. Well, he's been a leader in biosciences, medical sciences, business, entrepreneurship. It's all about the vision he develops, but not only that, Cal can take his vision and he delivers it to action. I view Cal as a teacher. 
uh, there was a town hall meeting with Paul Martin in London, and it was uh, just after Critchia had taken over from, from Brown Maroney. And uh, Cal started to lecture Paul Martin. It was almost embarrassing because he was pointing his finger at, at Paul Martin. But then within a couple of minutes, you realize he wasn't lecturing him. He was actually teaching Paul Martin something about the uh, biocentury, about the possibilities of investing in life sciences and economic development. And it was amazing to watch. Now everybody should know that, uh, that the real reason Cal has been so successful and why you're all gathered here to give him this award, of course, is, is because of the brains in the operation, Angie. And you know the old saying, behind every successful man stands a surprised woman. And I think Angie has spent a life being surprised. She's extraordinarily positive and I think it's a fabulous part of his life. I always come down to the fact that he has a wonderful wife, a wonderful home life, and the serenity that the farm and Angie bring to his life is probably a key to his success. He's an entrepreneur, a businessman, a medical scientist, a clinician, and raises horses. I don't know how he finds all the time of the day to do it all. When he comes home, the suit goes out, the jeans go on, the hat goes on, and in the summertime he gets on a tractor, and he goes cuts fields chases the horses and uh, goes from field to field inspecting the herds and, and taking deep breaths and saying, this is heaven, this is where I want to be. The passion that drives Cal is a deep, deep embedded sense of duty, that he must leave the world he lives in, a better one than when he, than he received. Cal, congratulations on being recognized by Life Sciences Ontario with their Lifetime Achievement Award. It is richly deserved and it's an honor for me to be part of this tribute to you. Cal, finally, I just want to not only congratulate you, but thank you for all that you've done for me and my family, but also for science and medicine in Canada. Thanks, Cal. Well, Cal, here I am. Uh, I want you to know that my heart is full of love and admiration, respect for you. And I'm glad you're mine. And, um, and I'm so glad We're, you are my partner and I love you enormously. We wish you the very best and congratulations on being recognized in this wonderful way. Life Sciences uh, Lifetime Achievement Award right here at home in Ontario. Warmest congratulations to you and thank you for all you have done to make Canada a better place. Cal, congratulations. Thank you from all of us uh, in the real world out here for everything that you have done uh, for your country and for the people in it and really for others around the world. You're an amazing human being. We love you, celebrate and enjoy. <laughs>